Well, three wins on the spin for only the second time this season is bound to put a spring in the step of a Leamington camp that had previously faced a tricky couple of months as consistent form continued to escape them through September and October. Following a hard-fought 2-1 win over Spennymoor Town last Saturday that saw the Brakes book themselves a place in the first round of the FA Trophy, Holleran's men now return to the league action for the first time since their 3-0 win away to Bradford Park Avenue a fortnight ago. With such a tightly packed league with little to separate teams in the mid-table territory, three points are like gold dust heading into a hectic Christmas period. The Leamington side sees four changes as Maycock, Murphy and Carline come straight back into the 11 after missing out on the trophy action last week. Josh March returns from injury seeking his 18th goal of the season up top. As for today's opponents, Geisley, they've had a steady start to proceedings in the season and they find themselves on 24 points, just shy of the pace of the leading pack, but with a game or two in hand. The Lions come into this licking their wounds off the back of two straight defeats, but would be desperate to get their league form back on track here to keep themselves within touching distance of the top eight. And the goal kick from uh, Dewhurst is wide, but it's kept in play. Murphy battling in the midfield. It's dropped to Carline, who's can charge down the left-hand side. Good challenge by McNally, won all of the ball there. The guys, the right back. Carline with a quick throw in. Guys, he could be caught sleeping here. Gittins. Carline with a low ball into the penalty area, dealt with by Diggy and he'll break out to Johnson. It's a strike there from Joe Clark. And what a scorcher from the Leamington man who captains the side today. Captain Marvel, Joe Clark for the day. Dropped to the, mid the midfielder, first time on his right foot. Didn't have a second thought about it, didn't need a second invitation and struck that like a rocket. Absolutely no chance for Marcus Dewhurst in the Geisley net. And it flew past the goalkeeper into the bottom corner. And Leamington have lift off inside the first six minutes. It's Leamington 1, Geisley 0. Early throw from English towards Gittins. Isolated but manages to fashion across. Could come for Carline. Taken out late by the goalkeeper. Nothing given by the referee. Paul Holleran from the sidelines voicing his complaints. But uh, Carline remains on the ground. He's got to his feet now just holding his mouth. But uh, Carline looked to be taken out there by Dewhurst after the ball had gone. Already boiling over at the Phillips 66. It's Parker's ball over the top. Weaver came, was caught late. The referee keeps his hands down. This time awards a corner kick. Weaver will voice his complaints, but uh, the referee deems there was nothing wrong with that challenge. Preparing the throw. Launched into the penalty area. It's towards Diggy. The centre-back wins the header. Up to the edge of the penalty area, might come for the diggy now. Vital challenge by Morley, still not clear from Leamington. And deflected wide, the effort from uh, Aram Solman. Leamington living very dangerously here as they look to protect their one goal advantage. Cancha with the ball in. Martin picks up on the edge of the penalty area, smacked away by Clark, caught late, nothing given by the referee. Here's Diggy, Solman, Martin. Gets away from the Leamington defence and it's deflected wide, just shy of that right-hand post. But for a moment there, Martin looked like he was going to pull the trigger on several occasions. Eventually did, but uh, the shot just scuffed. Again, it's Spencer offering him his services short. Good punch from Weaver there. He'll go back into the danger zone. Diggy with the overhead kick. Very versatile from the centre-back, but uh, Jake Weaver level to it and watching it all the way. Solman wins the header, helped on by Gittins and hooked to safety by Diggy. March, flag stays down, left footed drive and finds the bottom corner. Brilliant composure from Josh March to double the breaks lead just shy of the half an hour mark. Well it seemed like he had all the time in the world to set himself, got away from the guys in defence 
and sweeped it across the goalkeeper, Marcus Dewhurst. No chance for the Geisley man between the two sticks. And Josh March picks up his 18th goal of the season in all competitions. And that is a striker's finish, Jack. Yeah, it really sums up his game and his, his season so far. He's been marshalled, he's not had an inch, he's not had a kick. Great challenge in the air by George Carline. And he struck it sweetly, we're right behind it, left foot, got his knee over ball and put it in the far corner. I wouldn't say he's had his best game so far, but he does what he always does and puts the ball in the back of the net. Levinson can't afford to be sloppy in possession though, as a quick free kick is blocked by Junior English, only as far as Solman. Giddens picks it up in the midfield, caught late once again, but March, as the referee plays the advantage with March bearing down the right hand side. One ball towards Carline, gets the header on target, but uh, easily gathered by Marcus Dewhurst. The ball's definitely asked a lot from uh, George Carline there. Sent long by Weaver. This time Diggy wins the header. It's played through towards Murphy on side. Dinks over the goalkeeper and just shy of the crossbar. Almost a cheeky piece of class there from Jordan Murphy. Just a nick in the head of Marcus Dewhurst. Unfortunate to see it bounce on the roof of the net. Started really well, Jordan. He's not the sharpest tool, but he looks to get, be getting back to where he was last year. He's one of our best players last year and it'd be great to see him hitting that form again. Jordan Murphy, the uh, lone man from Solihull Mules, who are not doing too bad themselves in the National League. I'm sure uh, Stefan Morley will fancy his chances from here. Very threatening position. This is Stefan Morley's range. I would think he's going to hit it from here. Looks like it will be Josh March instead. Punched away by Dewhurst. Uh, plenty of power behind it from Josh March. And I'm sure Geisley will want to improve on what has been a very reserved first half performance when they head into the changing rooms at half time. But Leamington, it's a different story for them. Two goals to the good and uh, playing the much better football as Carline picks it up and uh, retreats into his own half. Morley will uh, scoop a ball up the line. It's Diggy who uh, flicks on, but it's towards his own goal as Joe Clark picks it up. Carline fortuitous with a deflection. Reverse ball to Josh March. Look to take it past Diggy, but uh, it's still alive here for Leamington. March with a shot on the turn. And almost, almost found that far corner. But uh, Dewhurst had had it covered. Helped on by March towards Murphy. Checks back onto his left foot. The ball comes in. It's Carline with the header. Can't quite direct the effort on target. Just shy of that right hand post. But uh, good work by Jordan Murphy. Just uh, twisting this way and that. Sold the defender. Got the ball across. But uh, Carline rising highest to meet it. Can't quite direct the effort on target. Gittins flicks on the midfield. Parker's caught under it. Here's Johnson. Picks it up in the final third. Now it's with Solman. Geisley really gaining momentum here. Solman looking to take on English down the line. Nicholson, first time delivery from him. Met by a firm header from Martin. But planted his header well wide of Jake Weaver's goal. But Geisley already in the second half. Finding plenty of space out on the flanks putting some very dangerous balls into Leamington's penalty area and asking a lot more questions than Leamington back line. Is uh, Parkers has done well to spin away in the midfield and find the feet of Martin. Blue and white shirts flooding forward in support, but uh, Martin just loses his footing. And Stefan Morley can sweep up for Leamington. Met by the head of Garner. Danger still not subsided as Martin goes down. Just on the edge of the penalty area. It was a trailing foot by... Uh, Either Jack Lane or Stefan Morley. I think it was the Leamington centre-back. Well, uh, looking at the play, he wasn't looking at the player at all. He was looking at where the ball was going. If he did catch him, it was completely accidental. But uh, could this be a pivotal moment 
in this game. Levington leading by two goals to nil. And it's Stefan Morley who is the offender. And it's Stefan Morley who receives the red card and is sent for an early shower. And what a moment that could prove to be. Stefan Morley catching Aaron Martin with a trailing leg from a through ball. And the referee's verdict is straight for the red card. And is that a game-changing moment for Leamington? Really, really threatening position. There's still 25 minutes of time left in this second half. It's Solman and Nicholson standing over it for Geisley. It's Nicholson to strike straight into the wall. It'll come back for the left back. Scoops it over and it's found a way through. And it's a delicate finish from Bradley Nicholson to get Geisley right back into this game. And with the man advantage and the deficit now at one goal, it's a finish of top quality, has to be said, from the left back. Bradley Nicholson just uh, took his time and showed all sorts of composure just to scoop it past Jake Weaver almost. But the most important thing is that Leamington's lead has now been cut to one goal. It's now Leamington 2, Geisley 1. Leamington have one last storm to endure. And it comes from Geisley. And it's in from Geisley. And it's the captain, it looks like, who's got the goal that brings the away side level. Well, they've been knocking on the door all half. The Leamington back line buckles. And Geisley, who have been threatening from corner kicks all half, putting them right on top of Jake Weaver. It flicked off one of those heads. And it's Leamington 2, Geisley 2. Well, we're all on level terms here, Jack. Yeah, extremely frustrating as any late goal is. When you played so well at the first half, haven't really come out the block second, and we've been hurt by it. Same old story, same corner kick, under the crossbar, and it's worked for them. Anderson is Taylor. Skips away from the challenge inside the penalty area, but Nicholson can pick it up and looks to spread out wide. Picked up by Callum Gittins into the penalty area. Gittins now goes for goal and just wide of that far post. You thought for a moment there'd be one final twist in this tail, but Callum Gittins can't quite get his foot around the effort enough. Carline's throw. Taylor will give chase. Slammed away by Garner. Martin flicks on. Mace just missed his touch. Leaves it for Weaver to smack clear. And there's the referee's whistle as he brings to an end. Well, it's been a uh, terrific comeback by, by Geisley against the 10 men of Leamington. It was the one-man advantage that proved dividends as uh, Leamington looks to be cruising at the break. But uh, out came a resurgent uh, Geisley side in the second half, scoring two goals after the dismissal of uh, Stefan Morley on, on 70 minutes. And it's a resurgent Geisley side in the second half that have come back to draw level with Leamington. It's finished here. Leamington 2, Geisley 2. Right, Paul, it turned out to be a frustrating afternoon. We'll get to the red card in, in just a moment. But first, uh, just a few words on your team's performance. Some good, really, individual displays out there today. That's right, yeah. And at least we can't get away from the fact that you know we were excellent first half. Um, two up and a couple of good opportunities as well. Start the second start the second half brightly then. It was important. We knew um, some guys are a good side. and We knew that they'd ask questions. We thought the first 15 minutes would be important. Um, and again, we nullified that. Um, George Carlines had a great chance to make it through. Um, I just felt the game was, we were probably dealing with what we needed to, looked dangerous on the counter attack, and uh, so it was everything going to plan. Um, listen, the game's been turned on a few things. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, Stefan sending off. Um, you know, listen, we all had a good view of it. Um, the key thing is, obviously, is that, you know, it's from the pass, the, the ball was a straight ball, which is ran straight through as the goalkeeper. Um, you know, and we sort of tend to know the rules at this level. And it has to be a clear and obvious goal scoring opportunity, which I've just explained to the referee. Um, so I think when you look back at the, the feedback, I'm pretty sure I'll be right that it wasn't a clear and obvious goal scoring opportunity. Um, referee said, Well, you can appeal it. It's not about appealing it, it's about today's games. It's actually turning this game on its head. Um, I think you'll see 
the free kick's been taken from nowhere near where it should be. Uh, but we'll be disappointed. I think when we look back at the goal, we'll be disappointed how it's ended up in the net. We've got the block on the first one. And I'm, I'm still baffled how it's ended up in the net. Listen, it's it's all hands to the pump then. Um, and to be fair, if, if you look at it realistically, we've, we've limited them really. Set players is always a big threat. And I think, again, we'll be disappointed that the headers come, you know, two, three yards out and... We haven't caught, we haven't dealt with it, and I think we could be stronger there. But, it's, but listen, that they've got good delivery for set players, and they're a big threat from set players. Um, so listen, yeah, it's disappointing because it was. I thought we were terminal and pretty comfortable, um, and I thought if anything, we guys are coming on to us, we, we could have picked picked them up. Off, oh, that's what I was thought the way the game was going, uh, but it hasn't. But listen, it's in this season, this league, you, you, you get all kinds of scenarios, and sadly, we've been dealt. A bad deal or a bad card, bad decision, whatever. And listen, we've got something out of the game, but I think the performance prior to the red card deserves so much more.